Welcome to GC 208 Study Session 11 Tests Introduction In the previous study session, you were introduced to the strategies in opening up an interview, developing purposes and goals, vocabulary during interview as well as what real interview is all about. In this study session, you will be introduced to a checklist of factors affecting the success of a testing program. Learning outcomes from study session 11 At the end of this study session, you should be able to explain tests, highlight a checklist of factors affecting the success of a testing program. Test. Testing is an important aspect in counseling. This is because the counselor may be able to have an insight into the client's problems which have not been hitherto reviewed by vocational, educational, personal, social performance. However, that does not mean that testing is imperative while counseling clients. Experience shows that testing may not be required on several students. If the client shows confusion in his thinking, all the itemized tests could be considered. Hints for test administration. The counselor or career master must know the objectives of any test he wishes to use as so to be able to determine its suitability. He must take into consideration the age academic, cultural and professional group to whom the test will be administered so as to ensure that the test is not applied to a wrong group of people. The counsellor must have some knowledge of statistics to be able to score and interpret the score or profile. He must be able to follow the instruction in the manual during the test administration. Before administration, he must ensure that there will be enough copies of his testees. He must ensure that the environment for testing is adequately motivating. That is, there should be good light, ventilation, comfortable seats, and tables and noise-free atmosphere. He must not allow for any discussion among the testees during the administration of the test. At the end of administration, he should ensure that no copy of the test is left behind or taken away by the testees. A checklist of factors affecting the success of a testing program. According to Maynard 1969, during his classroom lecture in Columbia University, New York, he discussed the following, which could serve as checklist for a purposeful testing program. Purpose of the program. Is the purpose clearly defined? Is it understood by all the parties concerned? Choice of tests. Is the test valid? Is the test reliable? Does it possess the appropriate difficulty level? Does it possess adequate norms? Is it easy to administer and score? Is it economical? Is it the best available for the purpose? Administration and scoring. Are test administrators well trained? Are all necessary information provided? Is the scoring carefully checked? Physical conditions. Is there sufficient space? Is there sufficient time? Is the time conveniently scheduled? Utilization of test results. Is there a definite plan for use of results? Is there any provision for giving teachers all necessary help in using scores? Is there any provision for systematic follow-up on the use of results? System of records. Is it necessary for purpose? Is it sufficient for purpose? Is it convenient form of use? Personnel. Are they adequately trained for the purpose? Affiliated research. Are full advantages taken of results? Are there provisions for special studies and analysis? Caution for using tests. The parents of the client will be very interested in knowing the result of the child. This makes test results important to the parents. The counselor should take care to explain the interpretation of scores to the parents. The counselor must not use terminologies which cannot be understood by parents, as some of them may not be all that well educated thereby misconstruing the terms. The results of tests should be made secret. If a counselor measures the IQ of the client and discovers him to be an imbecile, a moron, or low in IQ, then the parents will be highly agitated. Counselors who have interest in administering tests should be very careful. This is because tests singly are not true reflections of what one may become in life. The boy who comes first in class may not necessarily be the best or most successful in life. Counselors must not predict with any finality that the client will be so and so in life. Counselors should tell clients the fact 
as they are during interpretation rather than telling the clients what they wish to hear. Counselor should not rely heavily on his own experiences. He should concentrate on facts when discussing with the clients. This is because the experience which the counselor had years ago may have been changed because of economic and situational factors or educational progress. Confidentiality is the ability to keep secrets. A watchword in the civil service says, keep our secrets secret. The parents of the client, the client and the general society are concerned about the invasion of privacy, especially when information can cause embarrassment and shame. In the African culture, Families want to keep their secrets and nobody in the family is expected to reveal the secrets. A client who then discloses the deepest secrets of the family are afraid that a counselor, gossip, who carelessly passes information around, abuses his position and his relationship with his students. So it becomes very imperative that the counselor should keep information passed to him in confidence. In short, Counseling interview is a relationship of trust and confidence between the counselor and the client. Provision must, therefore, be made during interviews to keep secrets secret. The room for counseling must not be near classroom where passerby could peep in and eavesdrop. No visitors are expected to come in at random. Notice of counseling session should be displayed on the door. Any counselor willing to record information during counseling interview should do it with the consent of the client. If a counselor wishes to use the information secured in counseling interview in teaching, lecture, or writing a book, the identity of the client involved should be obscure. If the counselor received information during a counseling interview and he wishes to share the information with any other professional, the client should tell and his consent should be sought and obtained. If the client is a minor that is underage, such information must be shared with his parents because minor clients have a limit to which they can keep secrets. Summary In study session 11, you have learned that testing is an important aspect in counseling. This is because the counselor may be able to have an insight into the client's problem, which have not been hitherto reviewed by vocational, educational, personal, social performance. According to Maynard, 1969, during his classroom lecture in Columbia University, New York, he discussed the following, which could serve as checklist for a purposeful testing program. Purpose of the program, choice of tests, administration and scoring, physical conditions, utilization of test results, system of records, personnel, affiliated research. We have come to the end of study session 11. Thanks for listening.